Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you a way that you can search for things online in a safe and private way, yet get good quality results using Google without actually having to use Google and deal with their data collection and all the other surveillance things that go on. Um, so if you look in the description for this video, you'll find a link which will take you to startpage.com. This is a fantastic search engine. I only found out about this comparatively recently. Um, and it's fantastic, I have to say. Uh, when you do a search on here, it itself goes to Google, does the search for itself based on what you type, and then it brings back the results from Google to you. They don't keep any logs of anything. They don't keep your IP address. They don't track what you type. It's completely anonymous. So here's a page with 10 pieces of information about them. As I've said, they don't track your IP or use tracking cookies or log anything you search. Uh, they protect you from surveillance, as I said, by grabbing the information for you and they also use um, extremely powerful SSL technology um, which essentially is the encryption when you can tell it's on by having the lock here and what that means is from my web browser to their servers nothing can track what's going through the internet from me to them from them to me because it's going through an encrypted tunnel and on here you can see they have an A plus grade. Most websites are like C, B maybe. A lot of them are A grade, um, but to get an A plus you have to go out of your way to fulfill all the requirements. So these guys have top notch web security in terms of keeping you safe. Uh, they give you 100% real Google results, so it's not like those alternative search engines with their own search system. You're actually using the real Google search, but, like I said at the beginning, without any of the negative drawbacks, with uh, things being logged and tracked and catalogued and profiles made about you, what you search for, when you search for it. There's none of that going on with this. It's a Dutch company. So it's outside of US jurisdiction. So if you don't want to use something that's in the US, uh, then you can use this. And as I'll show you in the settings for this, you can also tell it that when you're doing your searching, you can tell it to use European servers. So on top of it being a Dutch company outside of US jurisdiction, you can also use non-US servers as well, which is fantastic. Um, another feature they have, which is really nice, is they have a proxy system so that when you are searching for things online, um, you can check those pages out first by using their quick and easy to use proxy. Check it out, have a look. If you like what you see on the page, then you know it's pretty much safe and you can go there just the normal way. But at least it gives you that option if you don't want to visit the page using your internet because maybe you're not quite sure about what's on it. So I'll show you that. Um, they have third party certified, uh, they've been third party certified for privacy, so they've actually been checked out by third parties who have verified that everything is safe and secure. Um, and another good thing is they've been doing this from the get go. They haven't jumped on the bandwagon to all of a sudden provide security in an insecure world. They've been doing this. This is what they do. So they've been around and they've been doing this and it's been proven that they're doing it right. So that's nice. And as I've said, they've got top notch uh, web based security for SSL, which is why they have this A plus grade which everybody would love and not everyone can achieve. Um, you get absolute results 
they aren't customized, they aren't censored and tweaked. It is what it is. It is a Google search with no other thing done to it. So by using this, you have a better environment overall. You get your good quality search results, but you don't get tracked, traced, catalogued, profiled, and all this other nonsense. So this is what it looks like, and you treat it just as you would Google. You type in what you're looking for. Okay, and then you get your results. So, what you can do now is you can hit settings up here. And there are multiple settings you can choose. So I'm going to go through some of these here. I'm going to set the languages to English. So this will just give me the generic, probably US English for the interface and for the search language that I'm searching in. You can choose the theme. I kind of prefer just the standard white theme. It's just a little more clean. Um, here, the results per page. I prefer to put this on 100 because if you leave it on 10, just like Google is on 10 by default, when you do a search, when you get to the bottom of it, you've only gone through 10 results. Then you have to hit next page, which means your browser has to load a whole new page. And then you've got to go through those 10 things and load up a whole new page. So it's a lot more work for your browser, and especially if you don't have quite as good and reliable internet. It's a lot more page loads, page loads, page loads, just to get the new information. So if you put it on 100, your browser does one page load, grabs all the information, and then you can just scroll down at your leisure and have a look at the results. So I prefer to put that on 100. Okay, you can put the geographical maps on because they also go through and make everything secure and anonymized. Um, if you want to find out more about that, you can click more. Um, another really nice thing that they do is they give you the ability, which is enabled by default, to use a different type of technology um, for searching called post. Now, usually when you search for things, um, you will usually see up here in the URL bar when you do a search, um, information about everything that you do. Whereas when you put post, what it does is it can hide that and it also, more importantly, doesn't give any information to the websites that you click from the results. This is the key thing. So therefore, those websites that you visit, they don't know how you specifically got there. They just know that you came there from start page but they don't know what you were searching for, they don't know any information about you, so it's another layer to protect your privacy. Here is where you can choose the servers you want to use, so I prefer to use EU servers, just because the options there. And here are the family-friendly type filters, so if you're in a household with children you might want to leave this on, or maybe filter all results, but if you don't have any issues with that, you can you might as well just turn this off. So when you're searching for things, you get raw results. Nothing's being messed with. It's completely uncensored. So you can put those options on. Another nice thing is this, just like Google, has search suggestions. So when if you enable it, when you start typing into the search box on start page, it will kind of auto-complete it'll give you suggestions of things you might be trying to type in so you can click it instead of having to type the whole thing out the thing is with Google they track everything you type into that box so when you're searching for something you may see some rather strange suggestions showing up because since they are tracking everything you type all it takes is for one too many people to type in that particular search string and it's very possible that you'll get that same thing. So if you're searching for some kind of private thing and you put in like two or three different keywords together but you wouldn't want people searching those keywords together. But because you did and maybe a couple of the people now when someone types one of those keywords it's very possible that that entire phrase is going to just spontaneously appear in Google. Now, start page don't do that. The search suggestions 
are based on the actual information that are on the pages and raw data. It has nothing to do with anything that anybody typed into that box before you because they do not track what you type in the box. They do not care, they don't need that information, nor do they want it, because this whole system is about privacy and security. Now here, you've got an anonymous images video search option. This means that if you're browsing for images or videos, instead of you using your internet uh, address to be able to access that, you can go through to those sites via proxy so it looks like that start page is accessing it if you do that though it's quite a bit slower so if you don't need that just leave that as off now what you can do is once you set these options up you hit save settings and now those options are set but what you can do now is go to settings and then scroll down to generate URL and then scroll down again and here is a custom URL or web link and if you use this or you give this link to anybody their experience with start page will be just the way you set it up so they won't have to go and configure anything it will just be that way so if I paste that in here and press enter now it's set up with all those options. Even if I give this to someone who's never been to the website before, it'll just pop up and all those settings will be on here. So for example, if I go into an incognito window, go to startpage.com, you can see the standard blue theme. When I go to settings, it's set on 10 results per page. Now on this incognito window, if I paste that link in, and press enter, boom. Now it's got a full white page. When I go to settings, it's set on 100. It's perfectly set up just the way I like it. Just like that. Okay, so when you're searching for things, I told you that there's a, the ability for you to check it out using Start Pages' own system. So I'm gonna show you that now. So let's have a look for flashlight reviews. I'm going to scroll down, and here's a website here. I could either click this big link to go to the actual page, so I can right-click that, hit Open Link in New Tab, and there's the website. I could do that, or what I could do is I could do that via this link right here, the proxy. I can right-click on that, Open Link in New Tab, and now Start Page is gathering this information, this page, and, and their system is bringing it to my browser. So as you can see here, it's not going to that flashlight website. It's going to ixquick-proxy.com with some gobbledygook at the end here. Random rubbish, so it's not even really trackable. And if someone was checking your history, no one's going to notice right from looking what the hell it was you were going to. So this gives you an ability to check out with some measure of security, as you can see here, some features of this page may not work because JavaScript and forms are disabled for privacy and security reasons. So what this means is that there's various technologies that a web page might use, but they've been disabled while you're using their system to bring this page up. So you can kind of check ahead of time, have a look at the link, see if you think you want to trust it, and then you could just visit the link just straight from the main link. So I highly recommend this, and in order to make it even easier, when you go to the main page, uh, you can add th their search provider to your browser. Now I'm on Chrome right now, so it says add to Chrome, so I can press that. And you should use the HTTPS version because that's what this padlock is. That's where the security comes between your system and Start Pages system. So we hit install on here, then hit OK. And then when you go into your settings on your browser in Chrome, it's under search and manage search engines. You can now make the default search Start Page. So now, 
when you bring up a new tab and you just start typing something in the URL bar that you want to look for, that's this bar right here, I could type in um, auto at tutorials and press enter, boom, it goes straight to start page and starts searching. And as you can see, I get 100 results per page. So it's a really convenient way of doing this. And then on top of that, you could always go to your settings, generate a URL, grab this URL right here, copy it, and then you could go to your settings and set this up as your homepage. So whenever you load up uh, your browser, boom, it goes straight to start page and you can start searching from there. So this is a really nice, secure way of being able to search Google, get real Google results, but without having to put up with all of the data collection, profiling, and all the nonsense that's just trying to invade your privacy all the time. So if you found this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.